What's up, YouTube? It's your boy FC The Truth, and we're back with another video. In this video, I'm super excited to show you guys the new OBS 28 update. Uh, OBS, I used to use Streamlabs, Slobs, OBS. This update, they're finally showing Mac users love tons and tons of like new features. And I'm just going real quick go through just the the two features that I love. The first one is that we're now on Apple Silicon with OBS. With the OBS 28, we're literally, you can see the GUI overhaul. It's not really an overhaul. That's like an overstatement, but like you can see it's like made for Mac now. Like it's uh, made for the M1 chip. It runs smoother. <clears throat> you can see like how smooth the GUI is, how rounded and flush everything is. It doesn't look like, I feel like before when you had OBS, it was kind of like you knew this was a PC software. Like it didn't feel, it didn't run smooth. It, it felt like you were forcing it. Like, like, man, I should just get a PC because this is, I can make it work, but it's not optimal, you know? So like Mac users had to kind of just make it for years. They just had to kind of just figure out how to make the workflow, especially for streamers and streaming just as smooth as possible, even though you know you're using a PC based software you know open source software so now the time has finally come where this beta is for the mac like it has a mac you're no longer on like that what the 86 what 64 this is actually arm 64 arm uh m1 chip the whole deal i'm actually on a um macbook pro 14 inch M1 Pro. So, and it's running smooth. So that's the number one feature. That out the gate, that's what I love. They just show Mac users like, look, we do care about you guys. We got a lot of stuff we gotta do, but we do care about you guys. So shout out. Love, love what they did with that. Okay, so another dope dope feature is they added HDR and 10 bit color support for Mac and windows version of OBS 28. That's fire. That is fire. And, um, I want to see if I can show you guys that. Okay. So if we go to preferences and I think it's in the video. No, it's in the advanced. Okay. So if you go to the advanced, you can, drop down the color format and you see we got 8-bit, 8-bit, 10-bit, 10-bit, uh, RGB, 8-bit. And I, I just love like, so you don't mess up anything. Like if you press 10-bit, 10, 10 it gives you a little warning. Like 10-bit formats are most more commonly used with HDR color spaces. So like it kind of guides you along so you don't do a whole live stream, a whole video recording, and the colors are like everything's running weird. Like it lets you know, like, hey, you might want to change the uh, color space to HDR. So, another great feature that's coming, I actually believe this is coming to the Mac version but it's in the Windows version of OBS 28. So what it is, is when you hit this uh, to kind of like add in an audio uh, capture source, it's it'll say application audio capture beta. It, you don't see it right now because this is the Mac version, but on the Windows version, they already have it in there. So that way, if you got Discord going, you got Spotify going in the background, it only records the audio of the application that you want it to. So it, re it still records like the Spotify, it records everything separately. So you don't have to use uh, plugins. It's basically a plugin in itself that's built in. So you don't have to, a lot of, a lot of streamers already have like 
workarounds and plugins for for this, but you can get rid of those. This that's a real game changer, and I really think it's coming to Mac eventually. I don't know if it's gonna be day one when the official release twenty eight comes out, but please, I'm begging them. They have to put this in the Mac because Mac users we always struggle with audio because we never had the uh, what's that plug in the voice voice meter like the all those little plug audio plug in workarounds that PC users have Mac users don't have that so like I feel like Mac users deserve this feature more than anything because we we struggle the most with audio stuff so I hope and pray we're lucky enough and privileged enough to get this um, feature in the Mac version. So that's that's a game changer. Yeah, I like uh, also a little subtle stuff like because it's they want you to know that it's Apple Silicon supported and this is like the real Mac version. Like when you drop down, it has its own Mac OS screen capture. So like. So like it's that's defaulted, like you don't have to type. Yeah, this is my Mac old screen capture. Like it's really like flush fleshed out for Mac users. Tons of more features. This I'm just like scratching the surface, but hey, this is a this is really good for for Mac users. This is gonna pull us away from Streamlabs. OBS that's going to pull us away from a lot of other uh, like applications. You know, I know Mac users, we use Ecamm. Like Mac users, we use everything. We use, because none of, none of the programs for Mac is actually like, like really made for Mac users. None, none of them do it, do all, like do everything. So we struggle, we'll, we'll bounce from Ecamm Ecamm Live, Stream, Stream Yards, uh, Stream Flow, uh, what else? Man, we you name it. I think I feel like every Mac person, that Mac user that streams, gaming, anything, we use everything, every program because it's like we're constantly searching. Like, what can what can help us get on the level of a PC user as far as workflow? without having to go out and build this like gaming PC with the huge lights and the fan and everything, you know, the, the insane graphic cards. Like, can I at least have my audio working correctly? So I appreciate like this OBS is like kind of getting to the point where I feel like eventually a Mac user will just pull out their MacBook Pro, hit OBS, and they're straight. They got everything. Everything's built in. They don't have to do a bunch. They don't have to load up any other uh, screen recording, game recording software. We're good. So we'll get there. We'll get there. I know I'm talking way too long. But, yeah, this is a real dope. This, like I said, this is just the first beta. They're gonna probably going to have a ton. I'm talking about, I'm saying 10, 20. I don't know. There will be a ton more beta versions. You know, it's going to be like 28.2, 28.7. So it's like, who knows what they're going to add. I really hope they, like I said, I really hope they add that audio application audio. And if you are a PC user and you're watching this, um, yeah, go ahead and test out the application audio capture feature. Uh, and let me know, like, is, is it working like flawlessly? What's the, you know, what's the bugs and stuff, man? I can't wait for, for us Mac users to get that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just, you know, video quality upgrade, GUI upgrade. It's It looks smooth. It looks, it looks sexy. I'm loving it. Comment down below. Test it out for yourself. Uh, if you're wondering how to get it, that's important. So if you're wondering how to get this beta version go to obs uh, project.com and as you can see here you can just go to the test build section and you should find the 28.0 beta and with the release notes the kind of beta notes 
and yeah it's going to show you it's a ton like even the notes it says and much much more they they're not lying when they say and much much more yeah it's a lot it's a lot and yeah so you just click this this and it'll take you over here and then of course you can scroll down and this this gives you uh bug fixes and also tells you a lot more features so that's that's uh even better and then just go to assets and download it and it, this goes back to what i was uh saying about the obs studio uh 28 beta it's arm 64 now if you if you got a mac with an m1 chip apple silicon for your intel intel max older max you're going to do the uh 8664 but this is new really dope they finally got the this apple silicon support so we're lit we're lit out here apple users are lit we're excited let's go <laughs>